Right, I'm not even ready. I, I've i just got in from a four hour bike ride, burnt the shit out of my dinner, and I saw some incredible news from Webflow. What's going on? I don't even know. I'm gonna switch you to screen sharing so we can, I don't, I don't even know how to present this, but it's friggin' interesting. Right, so Webflow Cloud. I haven't even really watched the video, so let's for the sake of speed. I'm Rachel, Chief let's Product check it out. here at Webflow. And today I'm incredibly excited to introduce you to something that's going to change the way many of you build Webflow Cloud. Over the past year, you've seen us evolve Webflow from a website builder into the website experience platform, giving you the power to not just design and build high performing. Yeah, I wondered where that vernacular was going on the this experience platform sort of thing. It just felt like a fluffy name or some, yeah, just, I didn't know what it meant. So this is obviously what it's panning up to be. To manage content and optimize that content in order to drive real business results. But as I always say, we're just getting started. And now we're taking the next step. Webflow Cloud unlocks best in class hosting for full stack web apps powered by Cloudflare to give you the ability to deploy dynamic web experiences and custom backend logic all inside of Webflow. So from what I'm understanding there, you're writing um, functions or you're writing edge functions that can respond and access databases and return that sort of data. Um, and they will host the code that has actually run on, it's, it's done through Cloudflare, but yeah. And what are we see, bugger off, what are we seeing here? Cloud Builder Launcher, Clone Repository, yeah. And all on your own domain. We're combining the visual first approach you love with DevLink with the flexibility and can so, and, and sorry to keep cutting in, DevLink is, I've released a video on DevLink and even recently people are starting to be interested in it, but it seems like it was dead and I'm getting comments saying it's died, it's dead and all the rest of it. It's just getting started with it. Control developers crave. It's fast, it's secure, and it opens up endless possibilities for what you can build. Whether you're- Security. Just because they make it secure doesn't mean that you can't make it unsecure. Creating a custom booking engine, deploying dynamic SEO, or building powerful integrations with LLMs, Webflow Cloud gives you the tools to take all of your projects and your clients' work to the next level. We're thrilled to give you a first look to show off the power of this new feature. So I'm gonna hand it over to Bryant, who's standing by in the Webflow studio. Bryant, take it away. Thanks, Rachel, and hey, everyone. I'm looking forward to showing you how Webflow Cloud brings the power of full stack development right into your existing Webflow projects. Today, we'll walk through how easy it is to connect your site to GitHub, deploy a React app, and even use DevLink to import your Webflow components, like a nav bar and a footer, to maintain consistency between your website and your web apps. But this is more than just a demo, because joining me today is Kyle Keelot, lead designer and developer at Turbo Home, one of our early beta partners who has started building with Webflow Cloud. Welcome, Kyle. Hey, Brian. Great to be here. Tell me a little bit about how you use Webflow today. Yeah, so we use uh, Webflow today to power our main turbohome.com marketing site, uh, which is the primary way that we acquire new customers. So Webflow Cloud provides a lot of really interesting opportunities for us. The big one that we're looking for is being able to pull hundreds of thousands of constantly changing and updating new home listing data that exists in our application into our marketing site earlier on in that customer experience so that they're finding the most engaging uh, and valuable information they can sooner. So we actually have a live demo today where we're gonna take the listings that are stored in this third-party database that the Turbo Home engineers built, and we're gonna actually deploy a Next.js app on the Webflow project and then deploy it to the Turbo Home custom domain. Deploy a Next.js app on the project. Interesting. So let's take a look at how that works. There are two ways to get started with Webflow Cloud through a Webflow CLI, where you can start with one of our scaffolds, or by using an existing Next.js or Astro repo. 
With the Turbo Home site, their engineering team has already set up a Next.js project, so let's make sure the components are consistent by bringing in the navbar and footer from their Webflow project with DevLink. Let's add the navbar here locally. Great. Now I can connect this repo to their Webflow site. First, let's authenticate to the GitHub app, select the repo I want to connect to, then create the project, give it a name, select the repo, and the Git branch. Then specify the mount path where the app should be served from, which in this case is turbohome.com slash app. Now let's go back to my IDE and add the footer. Then we can deploy the app by making a new commit to the branch, and we can push it up. Webflow Cloud handles the building and deployment of your app for you automatically. Let's go check on the build logs. And boom, we see that the deployment has finished. All we have to do now is publish the Webflow site and make sure everything works on the Turbo Home custom domain. And there it is. Looks like we have everything working with the listing, the detail pages, and the booking experience, all powered by Turbo Home's backend. So Kyle. So to me there, it looked like they had a Webflow website that already existed that had certain elements in it that they wanted to bring through to a web app that they can search all their properties and do all that. So they linked DevLink to their Next.js project uh, for the app um, and then pushed that up and hosted it under a new project inside of Webflow. So they had basically they've got two projects now inside of Webflow. One of them is the original marketing website. The other one is synced with the GitHub repo, which is their app. What do you think? I think it's great. And uh, Brian, honestly, it's been a huge game changer for our Turbo Home team. Our engineers have been able to stay focused on continuing to build out our application. Those of us on the marketing side, on building out our marketing site. And Webflow Cloud has made it possible for us to bring all of that together seamlessly on a single Webflow domain. Awesome. Thanks for coming in today, Kyle. Rachel, back to you. Thanks, Brian and Kyle. That was so cool. And just one example of how we anticipate developers are going to use Webflow Cloud. If you're ready to start exploring, visit webflow.com slash cloud to request access. And thanks, everyone, for watching today. We can't wait to see what you build. OK, let's switch you back and start talking to you about it. OK, so basically, all they're doing is hosting your Next.js project. They're not doing anything other than that. Not a lot of magic going on here, other than that it can be hosted on your Webflow domain. And what this ultimately means is not only can you create web apps inside of Webflow, but it also enables you to create your entire Webflow website. It's just the beginning. They're just getting started with a bunch of this stuff. So it's, it's just incredibly exciting for them to be just opening themselves up to be uh, more than just a web marketing website builder. Because with Next.js, you can make calls to any API that you want. You know, it can be your own CMS. When you can write code, you have um, or the, you have access to the backing code. You have complete control of whatever you want to do. You could probably build Webflow and host Webflow on the Webflow server. And the fact that uh, Matthew Munger and them in this video has said they're just getting started with it, the mind boggles on what's going on. It'll be interesting to see if you can pull in the Webflow CMS stuff. You can do all sorts of weird stuff, cool stuff with the CMS data that you couldn't do with say a collection list because of that limitation in the nesting uh, of those collections and things like that. So it just opens up a lot of doors, um, but it's just this is just seems like a taster. So I'm really excited about that. That all being said, this year, I released a uh, React in Webflow course, and this is like absolutely perfect for that because I go through all of the, the fundamentals of React up until a point of that we build the Next.js project and we push that up and we host that. So when when we I've, I've obviously requested beta access here, I'll add an episode as soon as possible to that course that will show you how to build your Next.js project from start to finish push it up to Webflow Cloud and have it running. Go sign up to that, it's like 69 quid. Before you have beta access, you'll have a massive head start already on how to build Next.js or React projects. So I couldn't recommend this enough because it's just a match made in heaven. Um,
But yeah, really, really cool. I did not expect this at all. And it really sort of changes, I, I don't want to say it, but it really changes the game a lot when it comes to what Webflow is going to be capable of, what people are going to be doing with Webflow in the next few months. So yeah, stick around. I'll obviously produce content as and when it becomes available. Check out my course. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And until next time, happy no coding.